How you doing, brother? How you, you doing, right? man? Yeah, not yeah. bad. Welcome to Living Life Fast. Thanks for coming down. Yeah, no uh, You come on a bit of a trip as well, isn't it? Well, you've broken it up. You say you're yeah. to go Bristol. 190 but... miles. 190 miles. Yeah. Jeez, no, nah, I really do appreciate you coming yeah, down, man. No worries. And uh, you drove the car all the way as well? Yeah, man. N54, 335i. Drove uh, one of these probably when they first first came out. I was pretty young, obviously, at the time. But this is a, a very well spec one. Is it the Americans that usually do big work to these? Yeah, it is, yeah. Usually, um, you'll see them over there. Doing like 1200 horsepower. Yeah, so we've got the N54. So you've what, built the engine? Nope, not built. Just oh, it's complete, not built. Okay. Just, just stock, just stock yeah. engine. But everything else has been replaced injectors, the GT35, single turbo. Manifold came from Walton Motorsport, which yeah. was actually jigged on this engine. It's running on a Cyvex ECU. Cyvex ECU, yeah. Who's, it's a S6. S6. Yeah, and flex fuel sensor. So what is the uh, estimated horsepower has been on the So dyno this made on the dyno 20% 20 uh, ethanol. It made six. 660 horsepower. Wow, and that's on a stock engine. A stock engine, yeah. Is that is that the, it, is not, that the limit? I think or? it could have it could have done more, but I thought, mm. well, you know, for a road car, I thought it was, I thought yeah. it was enough to be fair. Yeah, it must be quick. <laughs> it goes all right. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, when does boost come on? Around right about three and a half. What's your to? Just over seven. We've got a spare spec clutch in there, twin plate. Okay. Yeah, nice. and then going back from there as well. Then you got your quaff diff. Your suspension. Uh, we've got HSDs, HSDs on softer springs slightly, just okay. to, to be able to give it a bit, bit better traction than that. Yeah, so. yeah. Okay, okay. You say it's a uh, mapped on momentum, 99 run? Yeah, 99 run, Tesco. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, a bit of Tesco, can't be a bit of Tesco, 20 yeah, cheaper in it at the moment than the old It's the way Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it must be bloody expensive to fill up though. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's about 100 and, like 110. Come on, I'm just yeah. taking a piss, aren't they? So who actually mapped the car? That's another question. Right, so the car's been mapped by uh, Greg from Pro Tuner in Coventry. Did the stage three uh, fuel pumps recently for me. He's actually incorporated two 450 uh, Welby fuel pumps into into a single bucket. What it does, one runs a high pressure fuel pump, mm -hmm. and the other pump runs a secondary fuel system, which you can just see on the side of the intake there. Yeah, right. It's got 550 injectors in the side of that, yeah. so it runs a secondary uh, fuel system as well. This car does. And it's a uh, wastegate. What's the wastegate again? Uh, it's got a Turbo Smart Pro 50 on it, and I've got the screamer pipe poking out the yes, bumper. Yes, kind of melted a little sick. bit there, but <laughs> check that out, guys. <laughs> of a stealth screamer there, man. <laughs> what, is it loud or? Uh, yeah, you'll see. Yeah. <laughs> so how long are you on the car? I've had it five years. Who actually done most of the work? Me. Okay. I'll yeah. See. So the only thing, the only thing I haven't done was the the manifold itself. It was one of the first single turbos to be actually done like this. So I went to see Mike from uh, Walton Motorsport. I was, okay, like, yeah, yeah. I was like, mate, mate me that turbo fit in that old air. He was like, <laughs> leave it with me for a week and a half, and I did. And he uh, he goes, I've done it. There you go. He's, I've done it. He's done it. Stuck it in there. Mate, so, it's clean, man. Look at that. Yeah. So got it in there. He made me a custom downpipe, custom exhaust system, three and a half inch. Okay. And uh, what tyres we running there? Yeah. So we have got super, uh, Michelin's uh, Super Sports. And uh, what did these weigh? Are they what? Are they the fifteen sixteen mark or? Uh, I think about sixteen fifty. I'd say. 1650. Yeah, yeah pretty, pretty heavy, heavy Pretty heavy car, yeah. Let's have a little look around about. So, yeah, man, kind of, kind of sleeper vibes, right? <laughs> yeah. It's got three, that big three, tall tire, though, haven't we? 320D. <laughs> nah, not 320D, but you know what I'm trying to say. No badges, no crazy no, spoilers. No. That's that's the look I we want, park right? In Tesco's, no one have a clue. Exactly. Yeah, not really. Should we take it for a spin? Definitely, go for yeah, it. Yeah, let's do it, man. Yeah, you can hear it coming right down there, innit? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can't even hear it starting yeah. there. Yeah, so screen pipes at the front bumper. Yeah. So, yeah. So, so how do you change your mapping then? So you say that was low oh, boost? Yeah, it's a cal setting. So what I do is use the cruise control button. Yeah. Press this, if you see that now, mm -hmm. yeah. 
I'll go up to two. And that's it. Now that's in high boost. Okay, so you've got low boost, high boost, yeah. yeah. High boost, yeah. Did you not um, have an ethanol map, map or race map? I or have, anything? yeah. It's in Cal Six. What I've done, I've kind of narrowed it down um, just over the last month or so. Yeah. I've just gotten down to low boost, high boost. So that's pretty much all I use, like. So. But wait, there. Do you have to completely empty the ethanol, or well, or no, does so the side of it sort of? You just make sure when you're using it, you put, you work out how much you're going to use, like. Right. You use it out as much as you can, and then fill it back up with fuel. <laughs> wow! I mean, that's an explosion on shift, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> that's a real, like, tear through the air, isn't it? Yeah, I know, yeah. Hell, <laughs> yeah, <no>, boy! <laughs> Rev's out of it! <laughs> Man, look how tight she feels, though. Yeah, I know, yeah. Jesus Christ, mate, that is seriously quick, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. Man, I felt like you revved up way past seven then. <laughs> no, revving for days, boy. <laughs> Jeez. That is loud, isn't it? Yeah. That's why I've got an earplug in the uh, door card. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even joking. It's like, I uh, got back to one down. I couldn't actually hear. I'm, like, I'm right here. Wow. So I got these in here. Like, so. <laughs> He's yeah. not even joking. <laughs> Flipping hell, man. Yeah, that's yeah. a sweet amount of power, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, for the road. This is what I'm saying. I mean, I could have pushed more, and yeah. but does it really need it? I don't think it does. I mean, on the motorway, you know, yeah. You can go as fast as you want in it when you've got loads of power, but yeah. little back rows like this, you can see it's trying to squirm already. Yeah, as you leave second, it's moving a little yeah. bit, but it's like you say, it's just right, it puts it down, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I mean? It pulls you around from the rear, but there's another low boost as well. Man. <laughs> I'm really surprised on the track, on the traction situation, like how well it sticks. Yeah, but it have... is a real explosion, isn't yeah. it? It's not like, I mean, it's probably obviously been mapped good. It doesn't feel like some proper progressive power. It's like, bruh! <laughs> uh, we'll take a right, yeah? But yeah, I suppose if the engine was built. So, so you've done pistons, nothing, nothing completely nothing, nothing, stop. Um, that's it, just stop. Right. And if you did do pistons and rods, like, is it something obviously that's not needed? <laughs> if you or? did, if you've got the uh, blocks sleeved and stuff like that, and you could, like, you can make well over a thousand horsepower, but. And what it is for you, just blast around on the back roads? Yeah, I'm, I'm just. Just like coming up to like going up to the up to the office and stuff like that. Like I yeah. use all the back rows and stuff like that. Mm. So a little bit of a rip here and there. Hello, yeah, boy. Jesus, <laughs> mate, that is crazy, isn't it? Obviously, the performance is like it's fully there. Yeah. yeah, but my god, the sound. <laughs> Man. Everything you want, right? Yeah, I know. You can actually tell he's a 600 brake car. 100%, man. Yeah. 100%. Man like Richard. <laughs> Coming out from Devon, you know. <laughs> Jesus. So how did you end up even buying a 355? I was going to buy a Supra before this. I was looking at like one of like six, 700 brake Supra and it got to a point I was... Greg's like, from Pro Tune, he's like, buy a 335i, look yeah. at this, big turbo and all this. I'm like, yeah, it sounds like a really good idea. I was like, yeah, fully invested. I thought, ah, oh, I could okay. buy, bought the car for a reasonable money. I thought, yeah. can't cost that much money, can it, to do like? Yeah, yeah wow, well, yeah, think again. Turned like, into a lot of money. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I, I mean, I'll, I'll disclose, I'm not really bothered. Yeah. I mostly say I'm about 35 in on it. Like, 35 in? Yeah, 30, including the, I'd say, my wow. missus thinks more like 40, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's like about 35. So you've owned it for how long, sorry? Five, yeah, five, five years, years yeah. yeah. Okay, so you bought the car with the with the, with the the 2JZ mindset, yeah? Yeah. they say this is the new 2JZ, yeah, right? Yeah. The, the N54. Oh, <laughs> no. That's an explosion, isn't it? Oh, no. Yeah, you've got to really let off the clutch to rev match. Yeah. Wow, that sounds beautiful, lads. <laughs> <You know. laughs> so traction's on, yeah? Yeah. Here we go, lads. Wow. Boy. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, she feels tight, doesn't she? <laughs> yeah, no. I've got 
good gear, <laughs> long gears, isn't it? Yeah, long gears, isn't it? Yeah. And what? We revved that to just under 7k then as yeah. well. No way. Lovely. Like you're saying, it truly does feel its power, man. Wow. Fourth gear. <laughs> I don't know if you lot are catching that, but <laughs> as soon as you let off the throttle or dip the clutch or whatever, it just goes wow at the end. Jeez, nice man, brakes are on point. Yes, yeah, nice isn't it? I mean, it's a, it's a well-rounded package. Because look, the 335i, it's not got any sort of sport suspension, it's not got, it's open different factory, it's not an yeah. M car, is it? No, a lot of people see the 335i, as big yeah. engine, big power, but it's nothing like an E92 M3. So you've got to do a lot of work to sort of make it stay straight and stable and, and put it down, basically. Yeah, fastest SC out of the, out of the factory now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Third gear, guys. Oh, man, I love the sound of that. So what do you reckon, um, at this point, with this horsepower, do you reckon it's like... Reliable, yeah. Definitely. Reliable, yeah. Yeah, hundred percent, yeah. And you reckon what thirty-five grand? Your missus reckons forty. Yeah, pretty much. So does that mean that she's going or? Yeah, I, I think you're bigger and better things now. Mate, that's two Jay Z, bro. Hundred <laughs> percent. Wow. <laughs> you know what? Because the springs are soft on the rear. This <laughs> and you drove down from Devon in this same very car. Like, yep. That's pretty cool, man. No issues or nothing. Yeah. Like, that's some special reviews. That was four when I left. Oh, sh same so, tank. Yeah. Wow. You know what? Um, this is a car that is very, very entertaining. I don't want to. <laughs> I want to hand you it back. <laughs> wow. It's offensive, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, should I go third? I'm like, no. Nah, it's too much. <laughs> the neighbours don't deserve it. <laughs> 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 What's next for the car then? Are you done? Like what? Um, any more for it? Like you I know? don't know. Well, so you have mentioned selling it, haven't you? Yeah, I was, I'm thinking about it. it. Sits on the drive more and it gets driven, so I keep to think to myself, you know what? Might like, let someone have it that will enjoy mm. it, but it just needs to be respected. That's the only thing. Yeah, you you have another car in mind? No, like, I don't think so. No, I think I'll keep the GTR maybe for a bit. Yeah, I'm mostly looking. At, um, Looking at more property at the moment, so. Okay, got yeah. So. It's got really good. black, guys. It's like a lot of sound, but it does actually throw you forward, like. <laughs> It puts it down really well, doesn't it? Yeah. As you get to like higher, higher speeds, you feel it just a tiny <laughs> bit of movement, right? Yeah. Just a little bit, but that's probably where, like you're saying, you've set it up pretty soft, but that's the compromise, man. You, yeah. you are going to have a bit of, you know, movement. Yeah. Obviously, like uh, N55, then B58 is the evolution, right? But yeah. this is sounds completely different, doesn't it? Well, it's, it's just old school, isn't it, really? Like oh, you say. Brutal, man. What is the issue with these cars? Because I have heard there being problems with these cars when you start to push them hard. Like, what is it's like is there something from factory that, that no, they suffer I mean, with? Or? I, mean, I think it's all, it's all about being set up correctly, though, isn't it? It's like, you know, if you're going to build something, you need to make sure you do it in the right stages, you know, yeah. make sure you get the right fuel in make sure it's been mapped correctly. I mean, nowadays, things have changed, progressively changed now, like like Greg from Pro Tuna, he can, um, he can get your standard ECU now and he can he can map that out now, like, so you don't even need to go down a solid VIX route. But okay. to be fair though, it, it's just mostly the safest way of keep, it just keeps your engine safe, doesn't it, so. Yeah, so that is obviously the, the main thing with the Cyvex. Is that mainly why you went with it, or? Yeah, it was, stock it was uh, yeah, but the thing is, I altered so much stuff all in one go, it just got to a point where standard ECU just wasn't working. Well, uh, Richard, man, I think, uh, I think that is a wrap, mate. Richard, anywhere people can find you on social, anyone want to shout out, any thanks, or, I don't know. No, 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 Undercover, yeah? Yeah, all undercover, mate. Undercover. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> cool, man. Yeah, well, as always, guys, if you enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. I have a word with Richard if his car is up for sale. I'll probably try to leave something in the description. I don't <laughs> think it is, but yeah, cool. Till next time, everyone.
right or a left turn Lamborghini made the heads turn Enough fuel for the next journey Man's wheel spinning, got the heads turning Exhaust smoke like a fire burning Just bought a bim, a month buying Germans Parkway I want, didn't buy a permit Wanna join the team, then buy a jersey Full tank full of gas leave yeah. We are